Once you have a sufficient amount of data in Excel, you might need to use some of the other tools and features to enable you to manage or manipulate that data such that you can print out or view or calculate on the best results. Here, returning back to our ABC Company Compensation and Bonus Worksheet, we're going to talk about sorting, how you can sort your data, sort it alphabetically in ascending or descending order, or sort the columns that contain numbers in numeric order, ascending or descending order. Now, the sort icons appear under the Data tab of your Excel 2007 ribbon. And they're in the Sort and Filter category, and we're looking at them right here. And I'll explain the options you have here, and then we'll go through certain examples. All right, now looking at our sheet, uh, we have a single column, Column A, which includes our employee names. Now notice that the first and last names are not separated out into separate columns. So this means we're going to have to sort it by first name. If we wanted to sort by last name, we'd have to separate out the last name into a separate column. We'll also look at sorting perhaps by department or within a department or by pay grade or by salary amount. So you have different ways of looking at your information and then it can be printed out as needed at that point. Now in order to sort, you can click anywhere within the contiguous or the continuous area or range of data. You can then come over here to the sort icons, again under the data tab of the ribbon. You've got a couple of icons you can use quickly to sort either in ascending order from A to Z with a downward pointing arrow or sort in descending order from Z to A. The later letters of the alphabet at the top and the letters from the beginning of the alphabet at the bottom in descending order. So if I want to sort the names in this spreadsheet alphabetically, sort A to Z, Notice I have a cell already selected in column A. I can then click on that icon. When I do so, keep or take note that the horizontal rows remain intact. So as the names get shifted around and relocated into alphabetical order, the corresponding data will stay intact along with the name that that data corresponds to. So I'm going to click on Sort Ascending, and there we go. And we have the first name now is letter A, Annette, followed by Barbie, all the way through Tommy, who alphabetically is the last name that you'd find here, according to the alphabet. All right, that kept all the horizontal row information intact as it rearranged the location of the names in order to make them alphabetical. Now, if I want to sort in descending order, I can click any cell in the column I'd like to sort by and click Sort Z to A. You know, that brought Tommy up to the top, Annette down to the bottom, and it still kept the information within their rows intact. Now say we want to do this by salary. I click a cell within the salary column here, and I can say I want to sort from smallest to largest, A to Z. These are numeric values. So I have the lowest salary at the top, all the way down in increasing value to the highest salary at the bottom, and the corresponding employee. And we can perform this exercise for any of the remaining columns to sort and look at the data in a different way. Now, one thing that's important to know when you sort is that if I have a, a split or a skipped row or a skipped column, the information outside of the main sheet will not be sorted so let me, let me give you an example here. I'm just going to copy a row of information here, and I'm going to paste it down below, below. All right. And I'm just going to change the name here so we think this might be somebody different, not the same name. All right. Maybe the same last name. Okay. Now, if, notice if I click a cell within column A, because I still want to sort by an employee name order, and I click on sort, Take note that that name that I added after skipping some rows will not be sorted because there are skipped rows in between. If I wanted to include Barry within my sort because I have skipped rows, I would need to highlight the entire range by clicking and dragging, including his name in my selected range, and then I can click sort 
A to Z. Notice that brought Barry in to where the B's are in alphabetical order and including, included his name within the sort. Let me go backwards there. All right, so that's very important to know. If you want to sort a range of data and there are skipped rows or skipped columns, you'll need to manually select and highlight the range of data that you want to include in your sort. All right, I'm going to go ahead and remove Barry's name. Okay. All right, now you have also additional sort options here, and we're going to look at those shortly. Say, for example, you'd like to sort first by department and get all the names together from the HR department, the marketing department, the IT department, and then within each department, the names are sorted alphabetically. And this could really come in handy when you have a much larger list of information because you'll have many more names that fall under each department. All right, what I'm going to do here is all I have to do is click somewhere within my spreadsheet here because I'm going to use this sort where I have all my additional options. I click on this icon right here. All right, that brings up this screen here. And we can create our conditions, and we can have several conditions by which we sort. In earlier versions of Excel, you are limited in terms of how many conditions you can have. Here, it's not limited. You can also, in Excel 2007, you can also sort by... Uh, the formatting of the font as well as any kind of fill color within the cells. We're just going to do it uh, fairly basically here. Notice here's the first condition or the first level. And we're going to say, well, predominantly or primarily, I want to sort by department. And what do I want to sort on? Notice the options you have here. We're going to sort on the values. We're not going to worry about cell color or font color or anything like that. We want to sort on the values and we want to have the departments listed in alphabetical order. Okay. Now I'm going to add another level here. I click on this button. All right. Then it says, after sorting by department in alphabetical order, I then want to sort by employee. And I want to sort the employee names as well by the values in ascending A to Z order. All right. Now this is important right up here at the top. Before I click OK, where it says my data has headers, there is a header row here across the top where we have the column headings, employee, department, pay grade, salary, and so forth. You do not want to have your headings or your headers sorted within the data so they leave their position at the top of your sheet. Now, notice that if that is not clicked off, see how the column headers are contained within my selected range here? Well, what's going to happen if I sort it now? It's going to sort the column headings within the data. We don't want that. So I'm checking that off, which is going to exclude the column headers from the actual sort. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Notice what it did. It first sorted in alphabetical order by department. I have my accounting department personnel first, and then it's sorted alphabetically by first name. HR as well. Annette first, and then Joan, the IT department, Fred and then James, marketing department, B, Barbie, J, John, N for Ned, and then R and D. And it's alphabetical order that way. Uh, you can go ahead and print out your sheet after sorting it the different ways you need. So then you have a series of sheets that have your data arranged in different manners. Sorting is very simple. It's a very helpful process. And we may take a look at uh, more complicated sorts or we'll certainly take a look at filtering later on.